Hello, good evening, how are you? Hello, hello. Hello, can you hear me? Me escuchan. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm very tired. Very tired. Tell me about it, right? I know. I know. Yeah. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, Ronald. Okay, so guys, well, welcome. Okay, so we're happy that you are here. Um, we are going to start with today's class. So guys, uh, today we have different things to cover and we are going to start by talking about the quote of the day. And let me see, Janet, can you please help us reading the quote? Yeah, uh, quote of the day, per pardon, quote of the day. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. Okay, thank you. All right, so let's see. It says quote of the day, discipline, okay, discipline. Yeah. Is discipline the bridge is the bridge between goals between goals and accomplishment and accomplishment excellent thank you okay so it says that discipline okay la disciplina is the bridge what is the bridge the bridge is el puente okay un puente so Discipline is the bridge, la disciplina es el puente, ¿entre qué? Entre las metas y los logros, okay? And that is true. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment, all right? So, guys, we are going to start with today's class and today's agenda. We are going to start with the warm-up, then we are going to move to grammar. We have listening. We also have practice time. We have one quiz today and we have the wrap up, the end of the class. So as a warm up, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions and let me see. I'm going to share my screen and we are going to start with this activity. Give me one second. Uh, Ronald, Ronald, how do you spell lion? Spell it. Spelling. Uh... L I O N. Excellent. Ronald, how do you spell tiger? T I G E R. Excellent. Thank you, Ronald. Rosibel, how do you spell goat? G. Uh, good evening. <laughs> good evening. Uh, G O A T. Excellent. Horse, Rosibel. H O R S E. Very good. Kevin, how do you spell donkey? Thank you, Rosio. Okay. D R A Q E I. Okay, so let's see. This one is K. 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 This one is Y. Yeah. Why? Again, the nuevo. D or M K E J. Oh no, why? 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 Yes. Don't worry, okay? Why? Why? Okay. Kevin, how do you spell dog? D or G. Excellent. D O G. Joel, how do you spell cat? Joel? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, C A T. Excellent. Pig, Joel? U I G. Okay, this one is P. P. Yes, P. Okay, thank you, Will. Mm -hmm. uh, good evening, Noemi. Noemi, how do you spell panther? Good evening. 
good evening, uh, B. A N T H E R. Very good. Uh, thank you. Amanda, how do you spell leopard? Um, L E O P A R D. Excellent. Thank you. Um, let me see. Uh, Eunice, how do you spell cheetah? Good night. C H E E T A H. Okay. Thank you. Andrea, how do you spell cow? C O C O W. Thank you. Um, Joel, how do you spell walrus? W A L R U S. Excellent. Brian, Alexander, how do you spell order? Good evening. Good evening. Repeat. How do you spell order? What is me? Okay. No. How do you spell? How do you spell? For example, O T Spell. Deletrelo. Oh. Spell. Let me see. Brian? Okay, I think that Brian, he's gone. Okay. Carlos Amaya, how do you spell order? Good evening. Good evening. O T T E R. Excellent. Giraffe, Carlos. G I R A F F E. Excellent. And the last one, eh, Carlos, monkey. Monkey, M-O-N-K-E-Y. Excellent. Very good, guys. Thank you. So that was the warm up, and we cover a spelling. Okay, very good. All right, very good. Well done. Okay, guys. So we are going to start. Just remember, okay, your full name, please. Your full name, okay. Then uh, your camera on, please. Okay. Remember about the mute, right? and participation, okay? So let's start then with today's class and we are going to start with listening, yeah? We are going to listen to different recordings. So guys, we have the conversations right here. We have conversation one, conversation two, conversation three, and conversation four. So I'm going to play the audios. Le voy a poner los, uh, los listenings, but en ese caso, si quiere ir leyéndolo, Abra la clase y lo va leyendo, pero también tengo los videos para que usted vea las personas y todo, all right? So usted decide si quiere escuchar o quiere ir leyendo también, all right? So let me go ahead and share the screen. Déjenme, le, le voy a compartir la pantalla del primero. Um, ok, here we go with the first one. Ok, here we go. Conversation one. What do you do? I work at a tech company. Oh, what do you do there? I design software. Do you like your job? Yeah, I enjoy it. Conversation two. Do you work here? Yes, I do. Where do I pay my bill? You pay it over there. Do I need to show ID? Mm, I don't think you do. Conversation three. What do your parents do? They both work in sales. Oh, what do they sell? They both sell cars. They have a car dealership together. Do they like it? Yes, but they work long hours. Conversation 4. 
Where do you live? I live downtown with my family. Nice. Do you live in an apartment or house? I live in a house, but we need more space. Do you want to move? Yes, we want to move to the countryside. Okay, so let's see. Now I need four volunteers. Four volunteers. Okay, so Carlos Amaya, you are one. Okay, thank you. So Carlos Amaya eh, and Janet, you read the first conversation, okay? okay? Yes, so Carlos Amaya, you are eh, the man and Janet, you are the woman. Okay. Um, what do you do? I work at a teach company. Oh, what do you do there? I design software. Do you like your job? Yeah, I enjoy it. Okay, now thank you. But repeat after me, uh, Janet. Tech. 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 Yes. Very good. Tech. Yes. Uh, let me see. I saw Ronald and I don't know the other hand that I saw, but I saw Ronald, you are the man. Okay. And Andrea Lisbeth, you are the woman. And then Eunice. Yeah. Okay. Go, Ronald. Our session two. Do you work here? Yes, I do. Where do I pay my bills? You pay it over there. Do I need to show ID? I don't, I don't think you do. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Yes. Uh, Eunice, you are conversation three, the woman, and I need another volunteer for men. Um, I don't see. okay. Uh, Joel, you are the man. What do you parents do? They both work in sales. Oh, what do you they sell? They both they both sell sell cars. They, they have, have a car. Houses. Yes, Eunice. they have a car oh. dealership together. Do they like it? Yes, but but they work long hours. Thank you. Conversation four. Maribel, you are the woman, and let me see. Um, Amanda, the man. Where do you live? I live those tall with my family. Nice. Do you live in an apartment or house? I live in a house but we need more space. Do you want to move? Yes, we want to move to the countryside. Very good, thank you. All right, guys, as you can see, we have four conversations right here. We have four. And if you can notice, we are talking about the simple present, right? All of those conversations are in simple present, yeah? So do you have questions about vocabulary? Questions, doubts? No? The uh, um, dealership. The dealership, okay. They have a car dealership. What is the meaning of dealership? Does somebody know? Venda de carros usados. Yes, un dealership, eh, un car dealership es una venta de carros. Okay, a dealership. Thank yeah. you. Okay, very good, guys. Uh, what is the meaning of bill? 
Recibo. Very good. Recibos. Where do I pay my bill? ¿Dónde pago mi recibo? Where do I pay my bill? Right? Pay, pagar. Very good. Okay, so now let's move. Notice that those are just with you, I, they, we. Now, let's move to the second part. And this one is third person. Terceras personas. Okay? Pay attention. Let me share again the sound. Again. And here we go. Here we go. Conversation one. What does Bob do? He works at a hospital. What does he do there? He's a doctor. He specializes in sports medicine. That sounds like a great job. Yeah, he loves it. Conversation two. Where does Mary live? She lives in the countryside. That sounds nice. Yeah, she loves it. She has a farm and she raises horses. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, she also grows her own food. She has it all. Conversation three. How does Sue stay so fit? She works out all the time. It sure looks like it. She also watches what she eats. Does she follow a special diet? Yes, she doesn't eat sweets and she doesn't drink alcohol. Conversation 4 What does this machine do? It shreds paper. How does it work? Just put paper here and it shreds it. It's easy to use. How does it stop? It stops on its own after it finishes shredding the paper. Okay, very good. So now, let's see, I need two volunteers. Two volunteers. Uh, Carlos Amaya and Luis Giovanni. Very good. So Carlos Amaya, you are the man and Luis, you are the woman. Okay, what does Bob do? He works at hospital. What does he do there? He's a doctor. He's especially in sport and medicine. That sounds great. That sounds like a great job. Yeah, he's, he's love it. He loves it. Very good. Okay. Next conversation two. Other two volunteers, Amanda and Kevin. So Amanda, you are the woman. Kevin, you are the man. Where does Mary live? She lives in the countryside. That sounds nice. Yeah, she loves it. She has a farm and she raises horses. Mm -hmm. Whoa, thanks. Thanks to a school. Yeah, she also grows her own food. She has it all. Thank you. All right, uh, Kevin, this one, that sounds nice. Thanks. Nice. That sounds nice. Very good. Okay, thank you. Um, Janet and let me see. And Ronald. So Janet, you are the woman. Ronald, the man. Conversation three. What does this machine do? Oh, she works out. Three. She work out all the time. I think that, that you got lost for now. We are on conversation. Teacher, at three. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, how does Sue say so fit? She work out all the time. She, she sure look like it, like it. 
she also watches what she eats. Does she follow a special diet? Yes, she doesn't eat sweets and she doesn't drink alcohol. Yes, alcohol. Okay. Alcohol. alcohol. Very good. Excellent. Okay, and for the last one, I need two volunteers. Carlos Alberto, you are one. And me teacher. Marlon. Okay, very good. So Carlos Alberto, the man and the woman, Marlon. Go. Okay. What does it, this machine do? Is what what is pronunciation? Shares? Shares? Shreds. Shreds. Shares. Yes. It shares pa paper. How does it, it work? Just put paper here and eat. Trust it. Set is it is easy to use. Mm -hmm. How does it it stop? It stop on it or after it finishes sharing the paper. Very good. Okay, guys. So this one is going to be shred. Okay, shred. Con la este, shred. 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 Yeah, what is the meaning of shred? Shred is a verb, es un verbo, and that means triturar. Okay? Triturar. Yeah? Shred. Yeah? Very good. Do you have any question about vocabulary before we move on? Questions? Doubts? No? Okay. Let's move. Okay, guys. So we are going to start today with grammar and we are going to move to how much and how many, yeah? What do you know about how much and how many? What do you remember? Ideas? What do you know? How much para dinero? Okay, mm -hmm. and how many for money? Mm -hmm. How many um, people? How many people? Very good. Okay. How much is para cosas um, contables? How, how many, many accounts? Uncountables. Uncountable. Okay, so the other way around. De la otra forma. How much is for uncountable and how many for countable? Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay, so today we are going to over this topic for the ones that probably have a lot of questions or you don't know about the topic. So we are going to talk about this, okay? So how much and how many? Let's start, all right, with how many. That's the first one, how many? Then as you mentioned before, how many is for countable nouns, nombres contables, countable nouns, yeah? For example, when we talk about countable nouns, we can say an egg, okay? One, that means uno, yeah? So we can say an egg, two eggs, three eggs, 11 eggs, 100 eggs, etc. Yeah, we can count, los podemos contar. Todo lo que usted ve aquí, lo podemos contar. Yeah, we can count this. Okay, so an egg, an onion, an apple, an orange, yeah, a lemon, a banana, a tomato, a potato, a pepper, beans, okay, and peas, yeah. So mire, beans, eh, son. Los ejotes, también se le dicen beans. Okay, yeah. And we have peas, right? So we can count them. Yeah, podemos contarlos. Yes, we can count these uh, different things, All right? What else can we count? ¿Qué más podemos contar? Deme ejemplos. Give me examples. Uh -huh. Corn, corn, okay. Corn, what else? Yes. yes. What else? 
Colors, pencils. Pencils, okay. Uh -huh. Cars. Cars, okay. What else? Clothes. Clothes, okay. Very good. People. People, yes. Uh -huh. People, okay. Yes. yes. Can we count? Um, can we count the windows? Yeah. Okay, so let me ask you, how many windows do you have? How many windows? I have four windows. You have four windows. Can we count them? Can we count beds? One yes. bed. Yes. yes. Right. One bed, two beds, three mm. beds, four beds, camas. Right. Yes. Okay, guys. Before uh, moving on, we are going to take the attendance. Okay. I'm going to take the attendance. Um. Okay. So say present, please. Say present. Um. Here we go. Amanda Yesenia Lopez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Andrea Lisbeth Monge. Present. Thank you. Brian Alexander. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto. Present. Thank you. Uh, Dina Maribel. Dina. Present teacher. Thank you. Enrique Arturo. Enrique. Okay. Janet Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Perez. Jacqueline. Joel Alberto Barrera. Joel. Present teacher. Thank Present. you. Juan Carlos Amaya. Here. Thank you. Eh, Kevin Adiel. Present. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Manzanares. Luis Ernesto, okay. Uh, Luis Giovanni. Present. Thank you. Mirna Yesenia. Present. Okay. Present. Noemi Claribel. Present. Okay. Eunice Álvarez. Present. Oscar Giovanni. Oscar Giovanni. Ronald Eduardo. Present. Rosibel Hernández. Present. Thank you. Jancy Rendero. Kenny Alexandra. And Marlon Calles. Here, teacher, present. Okay, very good, guys. So let's continue. Okay, let's continue. Just let me share my screen again. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm going to share the sound as well so you can listen to pronunciation. Okay, va a escuchar pronunciación. Give me one second. So here we go. Page 80, exercise one, vocabulary, foods, count nouns, read and listen. One, an egg. Two, an onion. Three, an apple. Four, an orange. Five, a lemon. Six. A banana. Seven. A tomato. Eight. A potato. Nine. A pepper. Ten. Beans. Eleven. Peas. Now listen again and repeat. An egg. An onion. Mm -hmm. An apple. An apple. 
An orange. An orange. A lemon. A lemon. A banana. A banana. A tomato. A tomato. A potato. A potato. A pepper. A pepper. Beans. Beans. Peas. Peas. Okay. So let's see. Rona, can you please pronounce all of them? Okay. An egg. An onion. An apple. An orange. A lemon. A banana. A tomato. A potato, a pepper, beans, peas. Very good. Okay. Then now let's move and look at this. Look at the image. Okay. Look at the image. You are going to listen to the conversations. You are going to hear five conversations. Five. And you are going to check, okay, on your notebook. All right, you are going to write down, va a poner un chequecito, okay, a las comidas que escuche que se dicen en la conversación. Okay, so we already have number one. La primera ya está. Mire, ya va a escucharla cuando ellos lo digan. Va a darle un chequecito. Así que anote lo que usted escucha. Okay, so here we go. Page 80, exercise two, listening comprehension. Listen to the conversations. Check the foods you hear in each conversation. Conversation one. Let's see. I have oranges, lemons, bananas. What do you like? Hmm. I really like oranges. I guess I'll have an orange. Conversation two. Where are you going? To the supermarket. We need onions. Actually, we need potatoes, too. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Thanks. Conversation three. What are you making? Nothing special, just some eggs. That's all? Well, actually, I'm making some potatoes, too. Mm. Conversation four. I really want bananas for breakfast tomorrow. Well, the bananas are right over there. Where? Next to the apples. Conversation five. Excuse me, where are the onions? Onions? They're on the right, next to the oranges and lemons. Oh, and I need some peas, too. Peas are between the potatoes and the onions. Thanks. Okay, so conversation one, bananas, oranges, and lemon. Conversation two, what did they mention? Onions and potatoes. Onions and potatoes. And Very potatoes. good. Yes. Conversation three. Making eggs and some potatoes. Excellent. Eggs and some potatoes. And potatoes. Yes. Conversation four. Bananas. Bananas and apples. Bananas and apples. Very good. And conversation five. Onion, orange, peas, lemon. Excellent. So onions, oranges, lemons, and peas. Okay, very good. Okay, let's move. And now, let's see. Okay, grammar. Okay, so we have the use of how many and are there any with plural nouns or countable nouns. For example, how many onions are there? 10 or 12. In this case, you can say the quantity. Puede dar la cantidad. Yeah? So, for example, how many... Uh, how many carrots are there? Carrots, zanahorias, right? So how many carrots are there? There are seven carrots, yeah? So how many apples are there in the refrigerator? Repeat after me and say refrigerator. Refrigerator. Excellent, refrigerator, okay? So. Yes, I'm not sure. No estoy segura. I'm not sure. Maybe two. Maybe, tal vez. Yeah, maybe two. Then we have 
Are there any lemons? Mire, fíjese esta. Are there any lemons? Hay limones, right? Are there any lemons? Yes, there are. Or yes, there are three. Okay. Or, for example, are there any lemons? No, there aren't. Or no, there aren't any. Yeah, so those are for countable things. How many apples? How many onions are there? How many beds are there? How many windows are there? How many cats? How many dogs? How many whatever thing that you can count? Cualquier cosa que usted pueda contar. Yeah? Okay, let's move. And now let's complete the exercise. All right. So, as you may see, we have this picture, yeah? And we have a couple of sentences right here. So, we need to count. We need to count, okay? So, let's see. Uh, how many, how many bottles of shampoo? How many bottles of shampoo are there? How many? Let's see. Four, four bottles. There are four. four. One, two... Three and four. Excellent. So we have four bottles. Very good. We are going to add four. Number two. There are how many bars of soap? Let's count. Oh, those are a lot. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, very good, so 14, excellent. So what about number two? There are tubes of toothpaste, tubes, how many? 12, how many? One. 12. Uh, no? Let's see. One, two, Ten. three, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine ten, ten, twelve, eleven, eleven, twelve, thirteen. thirteen. Excellent. So we have. 13, okay? You see, we can count. Si podemos contarlos. Okay, countable things. Okay, how many toothbrushes are there? How many toothbrushes? Nine. One, two, two three, three. Okay, three. Four. four five. Five. Oh. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, right? Yeah, we nine. have nine. Mm -hmm. we have, there are nine toothbrushes. And how many hairbrushes do we have? How many hairbrushes? How many? Five. Five? One, two, three, four. And five. five. Yes. Very good. So five. Okay. Um, let's see. Kevin. Are you there? Yes. Hola. Kevin, can you please read the sentences? Ayúdenos a leer las oraciones. There are four bootless of Shampoo. Mm -hmm. There are fourteen mm -hmm. bars of shop. Yes. There are thirteen. Esa palabra cómo se pronuncia? Tubes. Tube of toothpaste. Okay. There are nine tooth. Brushes. Yes. There are five air brushes. Brushes. 
Repita después de mí, diga brushes. Brushes. Y diga bottles. Borrow. Bottles. Bottles. Yes, very good. Thank you. Okay, guys. Clear? Yes? Is it clear? Or do you have doubts? Clear. Clear, okay. Let's continue then. Let me just clear all of this. Okay, let's move. So now let's continue with how much, okay? Let's continue with how much. Well, how much is for uncountable? In este caso, el how much es para los incontables. Yes, uncountable, okay? So now listen to the pronunciation, okay? Listen to the pronunciation. Here we go with the pronunciation. Page 82, exercise one, vocabulary, drinks and foods, non-count nouns, read and listen. Drinks, one, water, two, coffee, three, tea, four, juice, five, milk, six, Soda. Soda. Foods. Seven. Bread. Eight. Pasta. Nine. Rice. Ten. Cheese. Eleven. Meat. Twelve. Chicken. Thirteen. Fish. Fourteen. Oil. Oil. 15. Butter. 16. Sugar. 17. Salt. 18. Pepper. Okay, very good. So let's see. Carlos Alberto, can you please read drinks and Rosibel foods? Okay. okay. Uh, water, coffee, tea. Cheese, milk, soda. Oh, juice. Juice, perdón. Juice. No juice, thank you. Goods. Bread, pasta, rice, cheese, meat, chicken, um, fish, oil, butter, salt. Pepper. Oh, this one? 16? Pepper. No, 16. Sugar. Sugar, yes. This one is pepper. pepper. Yes. Very good. Pepper. Okay, guys. So those are non count nouns. Okay, so uncountables. Water. No podemos contar el agua. Right? Coffee, tea, juice, milk, milk, no milk, milk, right? Milk, yeah? Soda, soda, okay? Bread, pasta, rice, cheese, meat, chicken, fish. Oil, sugar, butter, salt, and pepper. What is pepper? Pimienta, right? Pepper, pimienta. Okay, guys, do you have any question right now? No questions? ¿Por qué no se puede contar el pollo y el pescado? Se puede pesar. Pero si uno quiere decir... Tres pescados. En este caso va a decir three fish. No se puede decir three fishes. Ah, uh -huh. ok. ¿Y el pan? Sí, puede contar las rebanadas. Ajá. Los bollitos, right? Pero el pan en general no se puede contar. Uh -huh. 
perdón, teacher, solo para que me quede un poco más claro el, el tema de la regla. Eh, por ejemplo, si, como decía Amanda, si yo quiero tres pescados o dos pedazos de carne, ¿por qué es que no se puede? Eh, ¿Por qué no entra en el otro? ¿Que no se puede contar? Solo, solo si me puedes explicar un poquito, hay ah, que cambiarle sí. la... Sí, porque se, eso se deben de medir, de pesar. Se pesa. Todo... Ok. Ajá. Se pesa. Y los, los pollos los puedes contar solo en pluma. Cuando andan vivos caminando. Solo, solo vivo. Sí, solo vivo. Sí. Ya. Sí, la, palabra, la palabra fish es. Eh, Uncountable. Como money. Plural, plur, para plural y singular es fish. It's the same, yes. Ok. It's the same. Correct. It's the same thing with money, right? El dinero en sí, usted dice, teacher, pero yo el dinero sí lo puedo contar. Podemos contar la, lo, the, uh, the coins, las monedas, the bills, los billetes. Pero el dinero en general, la palabra money es uncountable. Por eso es que decimos how much money, no how many money. Lo mismo pasa con fish. La palabra okay, es incontable. Ok. Yeah. So, Let's continue. And now let's talk about just grammar. Okay, so how much bread does she want? Okay, lo que estábamos hablando del pan, right? How much bread does she want? How much milk is there? No, how many milk? No, how many bread? Okay, it should be how much bread, how much milk, how much water. Todo lo que se ve acá. How much uh, fish, how much oil, how much butter, how much sugar, how much salt, right? Mm -hmm. Etc. So now, in this case, uh, whenever we have these guys, we, uh, we can add the containers, right? Mm -hmm. Los containers. Fíjese bien. Una re, un pan o una rebanada de pan. Fíjese bien. A lot of bread. Okay. Y si usted quiere decir dos, vamos a decirlo two loaves. You will see. Así, mire. Cambia. Two loaves. Y ahí ya dice usted dos rebanadas o dos panes. Okay. Cuando hablamos de los incontables. Uh -huh. Y eso es de memoria. Se tiene que aprender eso de memoria. Okay. Yes. So now we also have a bottle, of, a bottle of milk. Podemos contar la botella de leche. Right. A bottle of milk. O, por ejemplo, a glass or a cup. Right? A cup of milk, a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. Eso sí se pueden contar. Como decir una taza de café, dos tazas de café. ¿Ya? Yeah? Las tazas sí. Pero en sí el líquido. No. The liquid. We cannot count that. Mm -hmm. A jar of honey. Right? A jug of water. Una jarra de agua. Okay. A slice of bread. Mire las slices of, of bread de los bimbo, right? A slice of bread. El pan francés de aquí es como decir a loaf of bread. El francés, right? Y el otro, el de caja, a slice of bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have a can of Coke. Mire, una lata. ¿Cómo se dice lata? Can. A can of Coke. Mm -hmm. A bowl of sugar. ¿Cómo se dice una cucharada o una cuchara de azúcar? How do you say that? Una cuchara de azúcar. ¿Cuántas, ¿Cuántas cucharas quieres de azúcar, Lesson? ¿Cuántas les pongo? 
Ah, una cuchara. ¿Cómo dice eso usted? El azúcar es uncountable. Pero si spoon. podemos contar las cucharas. ¿eh? A spoon. Very good. So we, we say, ¿cómo, ¿cómo entonces digo? A spoon of sugar. One spoon of sugar. Very good. Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Ahí sí podemos contar las eh, cucharas. ¿verdad? ¿Cuántas le va a poner a su café o a lo que sea? Ok. Uh -huh. Yes. A kilo of meat. ¿Ven? A kilo of meat. También, mire, a piece of furniture. What is the meaning of furniture? Mm. Mueble. Mueble. La mueblería, right? A piece of furniture. Mm -hmm. A packet. Un paquete, mire. Las cajas, right? También puede decir a box. Mm -hmm. A bar of chocolate. You can count the bars. Se puede contar las barras. De chocolate o lo que sea de los dulces, right? A bar of chocolate. O una barra de jabón. También se pueden contar las barras. Okay. A piece of cheese. A piece of cake. A piece of... of um, Whatever, a piece of meat as well, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, questions, questions, doubts, dudas? No, right now? Okay, let's continue then. All right, so. Let's move and let's talk about the book, All right? Let's talk about the book. So as you can see right here, we have a dialogue and it's, uh, we have a, a dialogue that is between Ruth and Josh. And we also have expressions to ask about money, okay? So the expressions to ask about money, how much do they pay? How much do they charge? How much is it? ¿Cuánto es? Cuando se quiere preguntar, ¿cuánto es? How much is it? How much is it? How much do you earn every month? Si usted le quiere preguntar a alguien, ¿cuánto ganas? ¿Cuánto gana cada mes? How much do you earn? Win? No, win es para partido, cuando usted gana un partido. ¿Ok? When you win a match. Pero para ganar dinero, vamos a utilizar earn. How much do you earn every month? Or how much do you earn monthly, mensualmente? Okay. So let's see. Um, I need two volunteers. One is going to be Ruth and the other one is going to be Josh. Me, teacher. Thank you. Marlon, Ruth, and Josh. Uh, Brian Alexander. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yes. Okay. Hey, Josh. I have a question for you. Do you pay vacation at your job? Yes, I do. How about you? Me too. I have paying vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? Twenty die to be exact. Exactly. How many bonuses mm -hmm. do you have per year? Per year. Per year. Do you have have per year? I have four bonuses. What about you? Um, how much do you receive? I have just two, but each one is for more than 600. 600. Oh, the book? 600. 600. 
Yes, hundred. Yeah, very good. Excellent. Okay. So let's see. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Okay. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Mire, vacaciones pagadas. Paid vacations. Do you have paid vacations at your job? Yes, I do. Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? How about you? Me too. I have paid vacations. How many countable? How many days? We can count the days of the week. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. Dice 20 días para ser exactos. Okay? 20 days to be exact. And how many bonuses? Los bonos. Los bonos, mire. How many bonuses do you have per year? Por año. I have four. Four bonuses. What about you? Yeah. And how much do you receive? They are talking about money. Yeah. So, and how much do you receive? Recibir. I have just two. Solamente dos, right? But each bonus is for more than 600. Imagine a lot of money. Okay. Yeah. So remember. How much do they pay? ¿Cuánto pagan? How much do they charge? ¿Cuánto cuesta? How much is it? ¿Cuánto es? And how much do you earn every month or monthly? ¿Cuánto gana cada mes o mensualmente? Okay. Now let me ask you. How often do you have vacations at your job? How often? This is a real question for you guys. Once How, a year. Once a year. Very good. Okay. Once a year. And how many days do you have? 15 days. 15, 15 days. days. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Exactly. Okay. To be exact. Now, let me ask you. How many days off do you have? How many in, days off? In the week? Uh -huh, during the week? Two, two, days. two days. One day. One, One day, two days. Very two days. good. How many days do we have during the week? How many days do we have in the week? Five days. Five, Five days. days. Okay. And how many days do we have on weekends? Two. Two days. And how many days do we have in November? 31. 30 days. Oh, 30. 30. Yeah, 30 days. And how many 30. days do we have on December? 31. 31. 31. And how many days do we have on February? 28. 28. 28. And how many days do we have in June? 30 days. 30 days. Very good. So you see? Mm -hmm. So countable things. Excellent. Okay, so now let's see. All right. It says circle the word that best completes the questions. How much or how many do they pay? Which is the correct? How much? How much? Okay. So number two, but this time I'm going to ask you, Joel, number two, how much or how many? How much? How much, okay. How much days do you have in your vacations? Are you sure? ¿Estás seguro, Joel? How uh, Make Number two, how much or how many days do you have in your vacations? How much? Yes, how much? How much? 
Andrea Lisbeth, how much or how many? How many? How many? Why how many and no how much? ¿Por qué? Porque habla de días, de vacaciones, entonces es contable. Es contable. Ok, so how many? Las cosas contables son how many. Las cosas incontables son how much. Ok. So let's see. Let's complete this. Vamos a completar esto. Ok. Eh, Joel, number one. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? How much or how many? How much. How much. How much. Ok, very good. It is 1050. Ok. Number two. How much or how many? How many. It says I make 500 and 45 monthly. They are talking about money. How much or how many? How much? How much? How much? Okay, very good. So they take 23 per item. How much or how many? Money. How much? How much, okay. Now, the company pays $690 with bonuses. How much? How much, okay. All of the things, todo lo que tenga que ver con dinero va a ser how much. Okay, yeah, very good. Okay, so now let's move, let's move, okay. Questions or doubts? Preguntas? No? Okay. Let's move to this. It says, read the welcome, the welcoming letter to Dominic's new job and answer the questions below. Okay. We need one volunteer. Necesitamos un voluntario para que lea. Carlos Amaya. Okay. Please read all of the welcoming letter. Okay, Travelers Inc. For a better future, dear employee, welcome to Travelers Inc. Congratulations, you are now part of the Travelers family. Here's some information about your new job. Please read it carefully. Name Glenda Dominic Sanchez. Job title, junior sales manager. Key job duties. Have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients question about our products. Mm -hmm. Take orders on the telephone. Call mm -hmm. potential clients. Mm -hmm. Vacations two weeks per year plus public holidays. Salary, 440 per month plus bonus. Mm -hmm. Good luck, Mark Travers, C CFO. Excellent, thank you, okay. Key job duties, right? So what are your duties? Duties, guys, duties means responsabilidad. Tareas. O tareas. Las responsabilidades, las duties, okay? Duties, okay, duties, responsabilidades. So now, let's see, tenemos unas preguntas. We have a couple of questions. So, Dominic speaks to clients in her new job, true or false? True or false? True. Dominic speaks to true. clients in her new, yes, true, right, true. Her salary is $100 per week? False. False. Dominic gets a yearly vacation? True. 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 And she has to work, she has to work on holidays? False. False, right? Okay, very good. Okay, let's move. And now... Let's complete this. How much or how many? Number one, Andrea Lisbeth, how much or how many? 
How many? How many? Okay, number two, Noemi. How much or how many? How much? How much? Okay. Number three, Joel Alberto. Uh, how much? How much? Okay, number four, uh, please, Carlos Alberto. How much? Okay, Maribel, how much or how many? Number five. How much? I think that you said. Okay, uh, Marlon, six. How much or how many? How much? How much? Kevin, number seven. How much or how many? How many? How many? Okay, uh, number eight, Brian Alexander. Uh, how, how many? How much or how many? How many? How many? Okay, uh, Ronald Eduardo, are you there? Yes. Okay, how much or how many? Number nine. How many? How many? And Eunice, how much or how many? Number 10. How many? How many? Okay. So let's see. Let's grade. Ese es un examen en grupo. Vamos a ver si pasamos el examen. Number one. How many apples are there in the basket? Correct. How many? Because apples countable. Contables. Okay. Yes. So number two. How much stars are there in the sky? Yes. How much? How much? Porque las estrellas son incontables. No las podemos contar todas las estrellas. Imagínense. We cannot count them. Okay. Number three. How much time do we need? Yes. Time. Okay. Yes. How much time? Yes. How much water is seen that glass? Very good. Yes. Water uncountable. How much books have you got? This one, this How one many? Is, yes, this one is incorrect, okay? Now, books, right? Libros. Podemos contar one book, two books, three books, four books, six, etc. Number six. How much money can we spend? Yes, very good. Number seven. How many people in Poland speak Chinese? Yes, okay. Number eight, how many snow is there in the mountains? Can we count the snow? How much? How much? How much? No podemos contar la nieve. Okay, no se puede contar la nieve. Number nine, how much or how many? How many students how are many? there in your how class? How many? Very good. How many? In the 10, how many meal do you want? How much? How much? How much? La leche es incontable. Okay. Recuerde que no podemos contar los líquidos. No podemos contar ni los líquidos, ni la nieve. Okay. Pero sí podemos contar los libros. Okay. So, in this case, you got seven. Seven. Do you have questions? Tiene preguntas. No? Okay. Okay. If you don't have any question, let's move. And now it's time for the quiz. Ahorita sí es el momento del examen. Okay. Que yo espero que todos saquemos 100. Porque no, no habían preguntas. Okay. No habían preguntas. Entonces, yo creo que está muy claro todo. Bye. Entonces, what we are going to do, si quiere, pues se va a su hoja de trabajo y si no puede, le voy a mandar en este momento el link aquí al chat, en el chat para que eh, no le tome mucho tiempo. Ok. Vaya hacia el chat, ahí ve el link. ¿Cuál es el passcode? English. Solamente English. Con el passcode, su nombre completo. Tómese su tiempo y cuando lo termine me dice, teacher, I am done. I finish. Okay.
lea, lea bien si es contable o no contable. Ok, Eunice. Eh, probablemente no estaba poniendo bien la contraseña. Tiene que ser en mayúscula todo y no dejar ningún espacio. Teacher, a mí en el link solo me sale hasta la clase del 22, no me sale la de hoy. ¿En el link? Sí. ¿Really? Pero el, el, el examen se los mandé aquí en el, en el chat. Pero okay. si quieres, dele reload a la página donde está. Ahí, ahí tiene okay. que estar en la clase, pero si no. Listo, la... teacher. Okay. Finish, teacher. Finish. Ok, muy bien. Finish, teacher. Ya. Yeah. Porque aquí está, mire. Ahí tiene que estar la clase. Esto. ¿Solo en sí? Teacher, este, me envía un mensaje, dice riesgos potencial en este enlace y no me dejan ni siquiera ingresar contraseña. Ah, pues eso computadora que se tiene un antivirus o algo que no la deja usar el, el link. Uh, don't worry, si no lo puedo abrir, no, no, no se preocupe. Thank you, teacher. Ok. So, ok, let me see. I got Alberto, Carlos Amaya, Joel, eh, Kevin, Marlon, Noemi, Ronald. Don teacher. Thank you. Ok, let me see. I'm missing eight. Me faltan ocho. Well, seven. Four, me faltan cuatro. Two, me faltan dos. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, so was it difficult? Estuvo difícil? No, right? It was very easy. It was very easy. Okay, I see that some of you got um, 90, some of you got uh, 100, some of you got uh, 70, right? So, but most of you got 90 and 100, okay? Very good. So the most common mistake was 
with sugar. Recuerde que el azúcar es, no mm. se puede contar, ¿verdad? Eh, the other common mistake, money. Ok, con lo que acabamos de ver, lo de money. Mire, me le pusieron how many. Recuerde que el dinero siempre va a ser how much. Ok. Um, what else? Yes. Eh, la que más eh, fallamos fue la de dinero. Ok. How much? How much money? Ok. Bye, guys. Let's move. And right now we are going to go to time to speak. Vaya, ahora sí, ya es el tiempo que nos vayamos a los breakout rooms. Ok. El momento que usted va a practicar. Mire bien lo que va a hacer. Ok. So what you are going to do is the following. You have different questions, okay? So we have, what do you do on Saturday morning? You need to at least say three things that you do on Saturday morning. What do you do on Sunday morning? Three things that you do on Sunday morning. What do you do on weekdays? That means weekdays durante la semana, right? Three things, tres cosas que usted hace, okay? So three, three, three. Yeah, with your partner, con su compañero. Okay. Después le voy a preguntar y me va a decir en tercera persona lo que la otra persona hace. Okay. Now, once you finish with this, you are going to move to this. Simple present conversation questions. So you have, what is your favorite dish? Why do you like it? When do you eat it? And how often do you cook it? Okay, what is your favorite dish? Why do you like it? When do you eat it? And how often do you cook it? Once you finish with this, you are going to move to this. Simple present conversation questions. What is your favorite holiday? Why do you like it? What do you eat and drink on this day? And where do you spend it? Okay, so we are going to start with those three. Conversation only. If you want to write down, do it. Si usted quiere anotar, hágalo. But I want you to speak. Yo quiero escuchar que está hablando. Okay? Yeah? Do you have any question? Any doubt? Questions? Doubts? No questions? No doubts? Okay. Let's move. Le llegó la invitación, Andrea. Sí, pero como que me redireccionó nuevamente. A... Mm, a ver, permítame. Uh -huh. Joel, are you there? Joel. Eh, what do you what do you do eh, eh, anotaste en la primera pregunta eh, what what do you do uh, on Saturday morning morning ajá Saturday morning from Nine to twelve. Saturday morning, I 
IRS, eh, I not, eh, I not work en Saturday. No trabaja el sábado. No. I don't, I don't work. I don't work. I don't work. Eh, eh, Saturday and eh, eh, I. Eh, para hacer como arreglar la casa, eh, teacher. Oh, I clean the house. Eh, Saturday morning, I clean the house. I clean the house. Ajá. Yes. Sería, me dijo. On Saturday, eh, I clean the house. Tienen una más. Eh, I go in the supermarket. I go to. I I go to. I go this. I go to the supermarket. Very good. Eh, yo este I work from at night to twelve. Esa es una y eh, la otra. Eh, I washes in the car. Oh, I wash the car. I wash the car. Yes. In, I check the email. Mm -hmm. Luego la otra sería, what do you do on Sunday morning? Los domingos en la mañana. Yes, Sunday morning. I got I got the visit I go to I got to I go visit, to visit I go to visit family my family my family yes very good Okay, eh, en el caso sería uh, eh, Sunday I prepare the breakfast. Mm -hmm. I sometimes go to the supermarket. La vida de señora. <laughs> ir es ir es go 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 to the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Y en la otra, what do you, uh, el domingo. Esa es la número dos. El domingo. Eh, what do you. What, watches, um, es watches. Watches, tercera persona. Uh -huh. She watches TV. Okay. Charros, 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 charros. Bye. What do you do on weekdays? No, 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 va a alcanzar el, el tiempo, teacher. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Yes. We still have around 40 minutes. 
Ay, ayúdenos con la última. ¿De la aspa? No, mentira. No, 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 mentira. Estamos molestando. Okay. Vaya, este... What do you do on weekdays? Uh, I work, 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 I work, 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 From 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, but yes, she works. Work. 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Así lo tendrían que escribir esto. Y, y pelear con el tráfico también todos los días. ¿Cómo pregunto? Vamos. ¿Hasta qué hora dijo? IPM. Es como fight traffic. You can you, say, Marlon? Marlon, you can say deal with, deal with the traffic. Deal, deal with the traffic. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I, I can... Uh, Can I write? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Deal, deal with. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. And you, Andrew? Okay. Uh, I take a shower. I take a shower at um, at ten o'clock. Okay. okay. Would you. I like to get up later on Sunday? I like to get up. And mm -hmm. I like to get up later on Sunday. Oh, late. I like. To... And I take my brunch at 11. Mm -hmm. I like. To get up, maybe. And watch TV. And watch TV. I, I like to get up late. Ah, uh, late. And two? I take my brunch at 11, between 11 and 12. Yeah. No, no entiendo el. I take my bro, my qué, my bro, brush. Oh, brunch. Brunch. ¿Qué esa palabra? Escuché. Spell it, Carlos. B r u n c h, brunch. It's a combination between breakfast. And lunch. Uh -huh. O sea, I take my lunch. Oh, no. That is brunch. Do you remember that? I think that the first class we talk about that, right? Yes. So, yes. La, la primera clase recibe, dijimos, del brunch. El brunch es como una... Era, sí, eh, desayuno, almuerzo. Very good, yes. Desalmuerzo. Mm -hmm. Yes. Brunch. Uh, I take my brunch. Brunch se dice verdad. Brunch. Yes. Brunch. Yes. Este, me dijo la hora. Between okay. 11. From 9 a.m. at 5 p.m. Another, uh, she takes she takes your your pills. Uh, she takes her pills. Her pills, okay. Her. Yeah. From 9 a.m. to two. 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 Okay. From nine. Okay. okay. Y la última. She goes to the cinema in the night with friends. At night. At night. At night with friends. Yes. Okay. Joel. Durante la semana, eh, 
durante sí. la semana. Um, Why do you like it? Ay, ¿a dónde estás? Me perdí. Eh, era que está a la par. Eh, después de... Ay, es que es why. Why, why, do, you why like? do you like it? ¿Por qué te gusta? Uh -huh. eh, eh, ¿Por qué te gusta ese, la, las hamburguesas, digamos? ¿Por qué te gustan? Porque son muy eh, tóxicas. Son... <risa> no, es un dice. Ok. <risa> Perdón, <laughs> okay. No sabía que estaba aquí. Don't worry, vaya, because they are delicious, right? They are delicious. They are delicious. They, they are delicious. Okay. Because they are delicious. Bye. Y yeah. they are delicious. Y el mío es porque. Eh, no sé yeah, porque yeah. sí también <laughs> what is your what? favorite dish Eunice my favorite dish dish is roasted chicken oh yes it is really really delicious oh my god Albert Okay, so I think that somebody is in the main room. Okay, continue. Okay, continue. Let me see. Yes, when do you give it? it, it. Miss, solo una pregunta. Yes, tell me. Es que me, ya me perdí. En la pregunta que dice, when do you eat it, es eh, como en el desayuno, en el almuerzo o en la cena. When do you eat it, yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. Y yeah. el otro sería con qué frecuencia. Exactly. When do you eat it? Probably you eat it in the morning, in the afternoon, at night. Uh -huh. And the other one is how often do you cook it? En ese uh, caso, puede decir también como never, usually, sometimes, on weekends, monthly. Y how often do you cook it? Es que está menudo, se lo cocina, si es que lo cocina. Y si no, diga never, si nunca lo cocina. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Thank you. Right. Okay, entonces I never cook it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool. And what is your favorite dish? Hamburger. Oh, hamburger. It's okay. You never cook them. Okay, perfect. But but I like. But you yes. like. Them. <laughs> In yours, Marlon. What is your favorite dish? Uh, fish. Fish? Really? Yes. Okay. Yes, really. And how often do you cook it? Uh, one one time in the in the month. Okay, once a month. Okay. Very good. And you, Andrea, what is your favorite potatoes. dish? Potatoes. Potatoes, uh, like French fries. Yes. Or potatoes in general. In general. Okay. All right. Those are delicious, right? ¿Cómo se dice papita fritas? French fries. French fries. French fries. French fries. French, yeah. French fries. Those are delicious, right? French fries. Yes. yes. French fries. Yeah. Okay. Continue. Okay. Continue. Okay. Ahora sí. Es la otra. El caso sería eat pasta three times a month. Oh, your favorite dish is pasta? Uh, yes, teacher. Delicious, right? 
Yes. Have you tried this one from, um, I think that the name is Oliver Garden. I think that is the name. Oliver Garden, yes, yes, he's. It's delicious, right? So, so. Have yes, you tried? Yes. Uh -huh. okay, okay. Ya no, dan mucho, como se dice. <laughs> They don't serve a lot, right? They serve a, a little. Yeah. That is yeah. true, Rana. That is true. Do you like pastas from Pizza Hut? Yes, I like uh, the pasta Alfredo. Ah, yes, delicious, right? Yeah. Okay. And yours, uh, Kevin, what is your favorite dish? Uh, uh, my favorite dish is meat. Meat. Okay, very good. And how often do you eat meat? Often, que significa? A menudo. Que a menudo. How often do you eat meat? I eat, I, mm -hmm. I eat the weekend. I eat on the weekend. I eat on the weekend. Okay, very good. Excellent. Continue, continue, guys. Okay, continue. Okay. Pregunta, how often? How, how often era la, la que se seguía? Estamos contestando. Eh, ¿Cuándo es que comía pasta? ¿O qué a menudo lo hace? Oh, teacher, ahí, ahí como que estamos confundidos. Porque... Ok. So when, do me... you, when do you eat y how often? Eh, eh, oh, but, but on, yes, on how often, if you see, it says how often do you cook it? Oh, cook, cook it. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. And yeah, the other one is eat, right? Mm -hmm. ¿Con qué frecuencia cocina? Ajá, uh -huh, yes. It's different, right? Yeah. Ok. Eh... Three times, eh, yeah. Three times eh, a month. Me dijo, perdón. Three times. Three times eh, a month. Dos veces a la semana. No. No. Tres, tres veces eh, en mes. Two times a month. Ah, a month. And you, uh, uh, four times. Yes, four times. Yeah, four times uh, the month. Four times a month. Four times a month. A yeah. month. A month, yes. Okay, Kevin, favorite, favorite dish is meat. Okay. Right? Yes. Uh, Kevin likes the meat uh, because it can be pre prepared in uh, various ways. <laughs> okay. He can prepare. He can prepare it in various ways. Okay. Various ways. Um, Kevin eats... Um, Meet on yep. weekends. Excellent. Uh -huh. uh, Kevin cooks for four times a month. Very good. Like that. Excellent. Uh, Ronald. 
power lead B is pasta. Mm -hmm. uh, Ronald like, likes. likes it, likes it because it is easy to prepare. Okay, so Ronald likes to. Ronald likes to because no. it is. No. Ronald likes to, y tiene un verbo ahí, dijo un verbo, likes it, creo que dijo. Likes it. Entonces, en, en medio de esos dos verbos va a poner el to. Likes to eat. Uh -huh. bueno, entonces sería, Ronald likes to eat because it is easy to prepare. Yes. Eh... Ronald para comer es it, ¿verdad? Yes, it's. Terceras personas agregue la S. Ronald it two times the month. Two times a month. Two times a month. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Okay, Kevin. Uh, yeah, I think that. The simple, the simple present conversation questions. Okay. I'm going to close all the rooms and we are going to go back to the main room, okay? Let's go back. Okay. Yeah, let's go back. All right. Okay, let's wait for the other ones to join, okay? Let's wait for the other ones. Okay, so Ronald, what do you do on Saturday morning? Uh, I, oh, Kevin. <laughs> you. Uh, you, Ronald. Uh, I, Saturday Monday, uh, I clean the house. Okay. Uh, I go to supermarket. Uh, visit a family. You visit your family? Okay, perfect. Andrea, what do you do on Saturday morning? <laughs> I, I sleep at 12. Okay, okay. Oh my God, you sleep the whole morning. Okay. Yes. Okay, what else? Mm -hmm. I watch TV. I watch TV. I dream book. I read books. All right. And you, Noemi, what books. do you do? Thank you, Andrea. Thank you. What do you do, Noemi? I, I drink coffee. Okay. I have a meeting at 8 a.m. Okay. okay. And I come to home at 2 p.m. Okay. I come home. Okay. I come home. I come home, all right. And you, Joel, what do you do on Sunday morning? Yes, what do you do on Sunday morning? I work, I work, I work in the morning. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, Quiero ver, I take, I take lunch at noon. Mm -hmm. I, I take coffee in the afternoon. Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, Marlon, what do you do on, what do you do on weekdays? Um, weekdays? 
Um, I deal with the traffic. Okay. Uh, I work in the office. Okay. And I prepare a cup of coffee. Excellent. Maribel, what do you do on weekdays? Perdón, no lo había terminado. Ahorita lo estoy terminando. Permítame un segundito, por favor. Ya le contesto. Si gusta, me da la oportunidad de volverlo okay. a exponer. Ok. Gracias. Ok. Eh, Carlos Alberto, um, what do you do on Sunday morning? Eh, Sunday morning. Habíamos. Eh, eh, me. Yes, you, you. Ok. Eh, I watch TV. Okay. I go to the church mm -hmm. and I play video games. Excellent. Eunice, what do you do on weekdays? I work on weekdays, teacher. Okay. And what do you do at work? Um, do you make calls? Do you send emails? Do you um, attend customers? I say emails. I check. I check emails. Okay. I I meeting. Um, I have meeting. Uh, with with client. Okay. Very good. You have meetings with clients. Very good. Thank you. Rosibel, what do you do on Sunday morning? Um, I, I, wake, I wake up at 8. 8. Uh, but I get up at night. Okay. Uh, 8. Eight and a half. Okay. And I take my breakfast mm -hmm. at night, okay. night o'clock. Okay. All right. Um, I take a shower at 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. Thank you. All right. Uh, Carlos Amaya, what do you do on weekdays? Um, I drive to my work mm -hmm. um, at 8 o'clock. Okay. I uh, take pictures every day. Okay. Every week, all the week. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I drink coffee at 10 a.m. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right, uh, Brian Alexander. Brian Alexander, what do you do on Saturday morning? Yes. Oh, Brian, we cannot hear you. No le escuchamos, Brian. Uh, I work. You work, okay. Uh -huh. I have breakfast. I have breakfast. Um, I sweep. I sweep. Um, oh, I sweep. Sweep. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. The, okay. Uh -huh. um, I check on area. I check. I check area. Check the area. Oh, okay, so I check or, the area. The area. Uh -huh. I yes. check the area. Okay, very good. And the last one, let me see, Andrea. No, Andrea, it, she already mentioned. Amanda, Amanda, what do you do on Sunday morning? Uh, 
I get up at um, 8 a.m. Yes. And I wash my clothes. Mm -hmm. And I prepare the food for all week. Oh, okay. That's nice. All right, guys. Attendance. Okay. Again, the last time for today. Amanda Yesenia. Present. Thank you. Andrea Lisbeth. Andrea. Andrea. Okay. Brian Alexander. Present. Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto. Present. Thank you. Dina Maribel. Dina Maribel. Present teacher. Thank you. Enrique Arturo. Enrique. Okay. Eh, Janet Amaya. Present teacher. Pero yes. Andrea ahí está, teacher. Yes. Ahí la veo. Yes. Ah, sí, ya dijo, okay. ya dijo present. Yes, thank you. Okay. Eh, Jacqueline Pérez. Jacqueline. Okay. Joel Alberto. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Juan Carlos Jovel Amaya. Here. Thank you. Kevin Adiel. Present. Yes. Luis Ernesto. Okay. Luis Giovanni. Okay. Mirna Yesenia. Mirna Yesenia. Okay. Noemi Claribel. Present. Thank you. Eunice Álvarez. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Figueroa. Oscar. Ronald Eduardo. Present. Rosibel Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Yancy Rendero. Kenny Alexandra. And Marlon Orlando. Thank you. Maribel, go. Tell us, what do you do on weekdays? Eh, a mí me tocó con Jibes hacer la tarea. Oh, okay. Eh, en la número uno, nosotros pusimos Jibes normally a working at 1 p.m. En, como hicimos varias, entonces solo le voy a leer una de cada una. He is usually a go to supermarket. Mm -hmm. Y la número tres, he is usually working. Okay. Y en las preguntas de mm -hmm. las que me hizo de último, eh, su preferido Christmas. Oh, ok, Maribel. But in this case, yeah. eh, ok. Eh, pero en este caso, Maribel, what do you do on weekdays? ¿Qué hace usted? What do you do on weekdays? Um, I I usually, usually get hot a cook. A cook hot cooking. I usually get hot cooking. Okay. Es que no sé cómo lo estoy diciendo, porque normalmente trabajo por la mañana, llego mm -hmm. a casa por la tarde a cocinar lo de la semana. Ok, so I usually cook. Exacto. Oh, ok, pero dígalo, I usually cook. I usually cook. Ok. What else? ¿Qué más? Eh, I frequency a supermarket, a farmery. Okay. I usually go to the supermarket. Perdón. Say it. I usually. I usually. Go. Go. To the supermarket. 
to the supermarket. Okay, very good. One more, the last one, una más. Okay. Uh, I am frequently um, go to uh, friends. Oh, okay. I frequently, I frequently, frequently, go, I frequently go out, go out with friends. Perdón. With, with friends. With friends. Friends, con sus amigos, me dijo, ¿verdad? Friends, ajá, ajá. Very good. All right, guys. Okay, thank you, Maribel. Okay, very good. Very good. Um, okay, Carlos Alberto, what is your favorite dish? Uh, my favorite dish is a uh, roast beef. Okay, and why do you like it? Because of the taste. Because of the taste. And when do you eat it? Uh, on Saturdays. And how Saturday often night. do you cook it? Yes. All Saturdays. <laughs> okay, on Saturday. Okay. <laughs> or Sundays. <laughs> yes, excellent. Rosibel, what is your favorite dish? Uh, the, my favorite dish is the meat. Meat. And why do you like it? Uh, usually on Sunday. Oh no, why? Why do you like it? Mm, uh, because it's magra. Okay. Uh, and dietetic. Okay. And when do you eat it? Uh, um, I usually eat meat at Sunday. On Sunday. Sunday. On Sunday. Yes. Okay. And how often do you cook it? Um, always, always Sunday in the lunch. On Sunday at, on at Sunday, lunch. At lunch. On Sunday at lunch. At lunch. Okay. Uh, let me see. I'm. I'm going to ask you one more. Joel. Joel, what is your favorite dish? My my favorite dish is tamales. Oh, really? Okay, pisces. Yes, tamales. Okay, and why do you like them? Uh, because uh, are good and I remember my grandmother. Oh, okay, very good. And when do you eat it? Uh, usually in the morning. In the morning. With, On the okay. With coffee. With coffee, okay. Oh, and how often do you cook them? Uh, I never. You never cook them. You you buy never them. Uh -huh. No sé. <laughs> do you buy know. them? Do you buy them? Buy, comprar. Do you buy them? Do you buy them? Yes. Do you? Repeat. Do you buy them? Do you <laughs> buy them? Comprar. Ah, yes, yes. Okay. I, I, I. Buy them. Buy them. Buy them. Buy them. Okay, very good. Excellent. All right, guys. So we are going to stop right here because of the time. We are going to end our class right here and I'll see you back tomorrow. Okay. Try to study. And well, thank you for being responsible and connecting. Okay, gracias por ser responsable y conectarse. I'll see you back tomorrow. Uh, just Brian Alexander, please stay with me. Okay, se queda por favor, Brian Alexander. Then the other ones, have a good night. Take care, guys. Bye bye. bye. Good, good night. night. Good night. Good night, Take care. Good night Take care. everyone. Rest. Bye. Good night. Um, okay. So, hi, Brian. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está, Brian? Bien, gracias a Dios. Bien, gracias que, a Dios. Queriendo entender todo lo que dice. Bye, Brian. Veamos, Brian. ¿Cómo se siente con las clases? Este es su espacio para poderme decir cómo se siente con la clase. Vamos a empezar con esa pregunta. ¿Cómo se siente con la clase? Mira, la verdad es que está bien. Está bien. 
usted, me gusta, me gusta su clase. El uh -huh. problema es yo es que no le entiendo muchas palabras. Okay, me okay. cuesta. Ok, ok. Y el, um, uh -huh. Ok. Um, ¿Ya había estudiado inglés anteriormente, Brian? No, nunca. O sea, eh, no, la verdad es que nunca. Y el módulo 1 como que lo sentí muy... Bueno, que en sí el programa como que es bien, bien, algo ajetreado. Algo okay. ya, tiene que, ya como que uno ya tendría que tener una base para entender un poco mejor. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Porque yo me trago por rato. Ok, ¿y el módulo 1 le costó? Un poco. Ok, ok. Y... Um, por, lo, uh -huh. por lo mismo, vaya. Okay. Hay, hay más preguntas, o sea, se habla bastante y hay cosas que uno nunca las ha escuchado uh -huh. y con el traductor o, o tratando de entender para saber más o menos. Ok, my friend. Eh, veamos, y... ¿Hasta el momento tiene alguna duda, alguna consulta de algún tema que hemos visto en estos tres días? No, estamos bien. La verdad que estamos bien. O sea, ahí solo lo que tengo que, creo yo que tengo que estudiar un poco más, repasar. Ok. Y, y ayer, ayer me dio un problema la, ¿cómo se llama? De la, ¿qué fue? ¿Hizo usted? Sí. Porque yo le estaba dando como el crucero del de la laptop y no me fijé que bajaba la, los puntos de la pregunta. A, okay. a, pues yo quería bajar la página uh -huh. para, para correr las preguntas y no me fijaba que bajaba los puntos de la respuesta. Okay. Ah, pues cuando, cuando veía que no bajaba, le daba la página y le daba con el, el scroll. Uh -huh. Pero no me fijé que que había cambiado la respuesta hasta que, hasta que vi las notas uh -huh. y revisé. No uh -huh. estaban todas, no estaban todas acertadas, pero sí tenía como tres que, que sí las había puesto, pero me salieron malas porque había cambiado la respuesta. Ok. Pero, y ahora casi me pasó lo mismo con una, con la de Sugar. Eh, uh -huh. era, era, ¿cómo se llama? How much. How much y pero por quererlo bajar, creo que hice lo mismo que ayer. Pero igual va a ir a uno, no hay tanto problema. Ok. Es que las clases sí están bien entendibles, pero sí le tengo que poner bastante atención. Sí. Para, para y como se confunde, como hay quienes que están en el grupo, que ya tienen una base de inglés. Sí. Veo sí. que ellos se desenvuelven más y, y, y ahí uno se queda como que, que, que dicen, o, o yo no estoy aprendiendo y ellos sí, mm -hmm. no sé. Ok, Brian. Vaya, mire, Brian. Um, vaya, primero que nada, pues lo felicito porque en realidad, eh, a pesar que usted me dice, fíjese de que sí, en el primer módulo también lo sentí un poco difícil por el hecho de que no he escuchado muchas cosas y es normal porque es una lengua extranjera, es algo nuevo. E igual si nos enseñaran que italiano también nos costara porque es algo nuevo que nunca lo hemos escuchado. Tenemos alguna noción, pero no es que sea algo que hemos visto toda nuestra vida. Entonces, eh, lo felicito porque ha seguido con el curso, ¿verdad? Y, y ha continuado con el, con el programa y eso es muy bueno porque eso habla muy bien de usted y que a pesar de que usted sienta difícil, ¿verdad? Al principio, porque eso es al principio, ¿ok? A todos sí. nos cuesta. Esa es mi idea, se llama tratar de aprender lo más que pueda. Porque sí, créanme que me dan ganas de, de, no, de no conectarme, pero igual tengo que terminarlo pues porque algo tengo que aprender. Exacto. Y en esta ocasión, Brian, eh, cuando usted me dice, yo escucho a los demás y ya tienen una base, probablemente sí, los demás, algunos de ellos tienen, tienen ya una base, ¿verdad? Y que por eso se les hace fácil desarrollarse en algunas cosas y usted pues siente que a usted le cuesta. Ahora bien, ¿cuál es la solución para que nosotros podamos eh, desarrollarnos más todavía? En este caso, usted... Tiene que participar más, Brian. De ahora en adelante, yo voy a mencionar su nombre, voy a mencionarlo todas las clases, ¿ok? 
donde usted tiene que participar, porque vamos a hacer que participe y que usted aprenda. Cuando usted termine estas clases, que ya faltan nada más 17, porque son 20, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Entonces usted va a sentirse un poquito más, eh, voy a decir, más fluido. Para el tercer uh -huh. módulo usted ya va a ir un poquito mejor que ya que el primero y que el segundo, ¿verdad? Entonces, la meta es que usted aprenda, que aprenda no algo, que aprenda mucho, ¿ok? Porque en realidad esa es la meta que tenemos que tener, ¿ok? Y aunque usted sienta al principio pena o dicho yo no sé, me confundo, ¿verdad? Entonces, es normal. Todo lo que usted siente, cómo se siente en ese momento, es normal, ¿ok? Entonces, lo que sí vamos a hacer es que vamos a participar más, Brian. ¿Ok? Vamos okay. a participar más. Ahora, eh, cuando mandamos a los salones, ¿cómo se siente con sus compañeros? Mire, que ahí, ahí va a depender, porque como lo mismo que le digo, hay quienes ya saben. Uh -huh. Hay unas personas que son como que conscientes y tratan de ayudarlo a uno. Okay. Pero hay otros, otros, bueno, por lo menos estos tres días, bueno, con lo que me tocó ahora, como que sí me entendí un poco porque los dos íbamos ahí, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero con los anteriores, como que ya tienen un poquito de conocimiento, como piensan de que todos tenemos el mismo conocimiento de ellos. Uh -huh. Y, eh, mire, la verdad es que yo me meto al traductor de Google para tratar de entender uh -huh. algunas cosas, ¿verdad? Sí. O tratar de decir para ver cómo se dice. Sí. Pero sí, la verdad es que está bien. Solo eso, yo siento que yo soy el que tengo que, que, aprender, que poner un poquito más de empeño en aprender muchas cosas. Ok. Porque a lo mejor sí puedo entender qué, qué dicen le, leer, leyendo o leyendo, no sé. Leyendo. Pero para pronunciación o escucharlo, muchas veces me quedo que está diciendo, no sé. Sí. Pero tal vez cuando yo lo veo, ah, trata de decir esto. Yo, uh -huh. Pero sí. Okay. Siento que tengo que poner un poco más. De... Ok. Bye, Brian. Sí. En ese caso, lo que vamos a, a tratar de hacer también es ponerlo con personas, ¿verdad? Que, eh, que podamos como, como generar ese ambiente donde usted se sienta también apoyado, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a tratar de, de hacer eso. No se preocupe. De igual manera, en este caso, eh, Brian, eh, si se si fija, le mandé un link al, al, al chat, ¿verdad? Ese link, de ese, eh, si usted lo abre, le voy a mostrar mi pantalla, ¿ok? Si usted lo abre, le va a abrir este traductor. Cuando vamos em empezando, obviamente, nos ayuda muchísimo. Va a ver este traductor, miren. Fíjense bien, este. Entonces, este es el que debe utilizar. Se llama DeepL Translate. Este sí tiene que usar usted. El de traductor de Google no me lo vaya a utilizar de ahora en adelante. ¿Ok? Porque eh, el, de Google, uh, el de Google a veces no da bien la traducción. ¿Sí? Ajá, Entonces, ¿cómo? este sí. Este le va a dar la traducción bien. Ok, eh, entonces guarde este link, ok, guarde lo que no se le olvide y siempre en todas sus clases téngalo abierto. No importa que usted utilice el traductor, no importa, ok. Lo importante es que tenga los recursos abiertos y este es uno de ellos, ok. okay, okay. Entonces, luego pues eh, nuevamente, ¿verdad?, eh, decirle que lo, lo, lo motivo a que siga, ¿verdad? Que no se me vaya a desmotivar, que usted puede, ¿verdad? Que yo sé que a veces puede ser un poquito complicado al principio, pero por eso tratamos como de hablar inglés y español. Si se fija, a veces yo hablo inglés, a veces español, para que nadie se quede perdido. Entonces, en este caso, ¿verdad? Ya que me informó cómo se siente, ¿verdad? Y todo, vamos a tomar mucho en cuenta todo lo que me acaba de decir. Y claro que usted va a seguir aprendiendo, ¿verdad? Y vamos a hacer que su proceso de aprendizaje sea bueno y que no lo sienta que, que así como tedioso, ¿verdad? Bien. Entonces, Brian, ¿hay algo más que, que, que quiera agregar o algo más que me quiera comentar? 
No, solamente. Y, y la felicito porque me, la verdad que tiene una bonita forma de enseñar. Ok. Thank you, Brian. Ok. Muchísimas gracias, Brian. Bien, Brian. Entonces vamos a tratar de hacer eso con usted. Y bueno, entonces si no hay nada más que agregar, vamos a dejar el feedback hasta acá. Cualquier cosa, cualquier duda, algo que usted me quiera preguntar, siempre me puede decir ya sea en el chat de acá o me puede mandar un mensaje a mí directamente a mi WhatsApp y yo con mucho gusto le voy a ayudar. ¿Ok? Gracias, mucho. Ok, thank you. Have a good night. Descanse. Igual. Buenas noches. Thank you.